Leviticus 18.22, You should not lie with a man as with a, as with a woman. It is abomination. Enough people say it doesn't matter. Homosexuality is not the right way to go. In the world today, people take the term homosexuality very cautious because it is a huge issue and is very apparent now. Uh, what I'm going to go over today is gay marriage in the olden days, same-sex marriage during the times of the Bible, and homosexuality in today's world. Uh, same-sex marriage during the times of the Bible is not as big as, uh, at all. In quotes in the Bible, four times that homosexuality is wrong doing of the evil and they should be punished. Uh, and finally, how the times and popularity of gay marriage has skyrocketed out of sight in today's time and how we are allowing, to have, allowing it to happen all over the place now. Gay marriage in the olden days was not even hardly thought of. It just didn't happen back then. They didn't think that way back then they knew it was wrong and against the word of the Holy Bible to do so. Back then they thought it was morally, immorally wrong for people to be that way. If they did find someone that turned out to be that way, they were usually hung for their actions. They're still doing these, uh, these things today over in other countries. There were two teenagers that were publicly hanged under anti-gay laws in Mossad, Iran in 2005. And you can see them here. After many years, though, some people began to think it did, not become a, it did become a little harsh to hang them, so they started kicking them out of their towns and villages instead. Now, uh, from the olden days to the Bible times. As it says in Leviticus 20.13, If a man lies with a man as one lies with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable. They must be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. In the United Methodist Church, uh, they are having big, huge outbreaks with people leaving the churches and joining other religions because they partake in the practices of gay marriage. There's a preacher in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, that is being put on trial for performing a same-sex marriage of his own son. But the end result will be that the United Methodist Council will not do anything to him and let him go on and keep preaching, as you can see him here. Uh, a church in Florine, Louisiana, has broken away from the United Methodist Association because of some of the same reasons, as in, as in they are performing same-sex marriages and they are letting them become preachers in our churches. Here is Prospect Methodist Church, is the name of the church. In today's time and age, uh, it is becoming more apparent. And here's a graph showing how from 1988 to 2011, uh, people who oppose it has went downhill and people who favor same-sex marriage has went uphill. In the world today, there are approximately 13% of the world that is gay. 10% of the population is male, and 3% of it is female. Uh, in today's life, people think it's okay to just be openly gay and not care anything about what other people think. Some rural small, small farm areas don't see it as much as some of the bigger uh, metropolitan areas, but it is still apparent everywhere. It has now even come out in the churches where it is that the one place that it for sure shouldn't be. In conclusion, Gay marriage is not the right way to go, no matter what you hear or what you see on the internet. It's not right. From the olden days to when we hung people and later on just shunned them from the community, to the Bible days where it, is, where it clearly states that God made Adam and Eve not two men and not two women, to now when no one cares what people think, so they just come out and say they're openly gay. Now when you hear about gay rights, the next time, think about the things I've told you and stand up next time we vote on those kind of laws that support it. Thank you.